how do you how do you allocate your investments between stocks and bonds and cash and whatever? Okay, um, the, the, there's an old rule out there that is really so off mark it's not even funny. But it would be where you take the number 100, you subtract from it your age, and the resulting number is what percentage of your investments should be allocated to the stock market. That means a person that's 40 years old, subtract 40 from 100, and the resulting number is 60. That means that a person 40 years old should have 60% of their money in the stock market. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. A person 40 years old should be putting the pedal to the metal because you got a lot of years before you. You're in your peak earning period. You're just really probably entering your peak earning period. You should be as aggressive as you can comfortably be at that point in time. Now, since then, they've kind of there have been people that have revised that, and they use the number 115. So you subtract 40 from 115. The resulting number is 75. That's a little bit better but it's still not as high as I think it should be for a person 40 years old. So what, what I mean, I'm a guy that, that, you know, completely messes this up, okay, because I mentioned I'm 100% in the stock market, okay. I'm 66 years old, okay. I'm 100% in the stock market. Now, I plan on living at least another 20 years because it, I figure it's going to take me that long before I shoot my age and my golf score, okay. Uh, so, so I know I'm going to need, you know, I'm, I'm no, I can't shoot a 66 right now. I doubt it's 76, I'll shoot a 76, but I think when I'm 86, I can shoot an 86, okay. So that's what I want, another 20 years in here to be able to shoot my age on the golf course. Um, so I got a lot of time. I got a lot of time. There was another thing I didn't bring up. This was in the Wall Street Journal the other day, and I apologize. Uh, I, I, it would be really great. But it was, um, and, and this, uh, again, for a person your age, this is great. This was an, in an article I just stumbled across, and I, I couldn't wait to show it to my wife, because she's 100% with me on this, our, our investment portfolio, being 100% invested in stocks. And it, it says, the, this article was, was uh, preaching the merits of being all in, in the stock market. And it, it took a $100,000 portfolio and broke it into how did it perform in three different categories, 100% in stocks, 100% in bonds, and then split 50-50 between stocks and bonds. And in that 10-year period, the, um, the uh, all-stock portfolio grew to $214,000. Okay? The all-bond portfolio grew to $163,000, and the split portfolio to $188,000. Okay, so stocks, the all stock portfolio dramatically outperform it. Then they went to 35 years. <laughs> you aren't going to believe this. The all stock portfolio went from, in 35 years, went from $100,000 to more than $4.5 million. Okay. The all bond portfolio went from $100,000 to $1.5 million, and the split portfolio went to about $3 million. The all stock portfolio obviously paid off handsomely, but most people would say, I can't tolerate the risk of the stock market. Okay? Um, I, I think you've got to at least open your eyes to it and be aware. I brought this up to my wife, and, I, and you know, we reinvest everything in all of our accounts. We, we follow the uh, Albert Einstein thing, Albert Einstein called compounding the eighth wonder of the world. Okay? And so, we, we buy into that completely. So all our dividends, everything is, is compounded, reinvested. Somewhere along the line, we'll probably start using the income off of the investments for our retirement. But that's way, I'm thinking way down the road. Uh, and so, but even if we did, and even if we modestly invaded the principal from time to time, it's going to grow dramatically faster than we are going to use it. Because, as I just told you, you know, take a look at what the market has done. Now, past is not prologue, but it certainly gives you a pretty good guide of what to expect, as long as you don't dwell on the market and wake up in the morning and check where the, your stocks are every day. That's the worst thing that could happen. If you ever get in that point, get out. Okay? You shouldn't be there in the first place. Okay? You, can't, you can't get into that, that posture. You really can't. 